Day Gay Tang DGT off and on Theodore Andre. Hello. Hello, hello. It's, uh, it's a moment to be here on your show. And uh, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. And in the pink, the signature pink. Hello. Yes. The <laughs> Now we have to ask you, you were only in high school. Are you still in high school? Yes, yes, last year. Oh my gosh, so in May or June you were done? Yes. Oh my gosh. And yet you're going to Eurovision at the same time. Well, the, some may say it is, but I, I honestly don't think uh, not that way. It's, it's actually really fine, and I think that uh, things happen for the reason I want to be this way. Because I feel like the um, Eurovision has always been my, my dream since childhood. I remember watching the show with my parents when I was like eight or nine, something like that. And I remember telling my kids that I'm going to be the first Romanian to have Eurovision. And so uh, as soon as I got to the age of being able to participate, I started writing second And my first song was in 2020, but I couldn't register it because it was the first year in the time I in Romania. Uh, the 2021 was the first 2020 edition, so we, uh, I couldn't do it as well. Um, in 2020, I had a simple song from two Greek composers, which I tried, uh, I tried jumping on, but it didn't qualify. And this year, I just um, I ran full on my ideas. So I think it's uh, it was the it was about time. It was about time. This year. Really, your English is incredible. I'm assuming you studied English in high school, my goodness. <laughs> For me, but. <laughs> I want to talk about the song because it's very artistic and I think there's a lot of meaning which many people don't get. So yeah. can you explain the jokes? Okay, so the song needs to be off and on. Uh, the stage is a little story in which uh, there's this whole battle in between logical decisions and emotional feelings. And uh, sort of a necessary hope to which you come back to no matter how much damage you want to. Yes, and so uh, the, the whole song talks about love and love and you have this song this serious subject surrounded by the whole sexy atmosphere of the track and this whole fusion in between rock and roll, blues, hip hop, R&B and pop elements and so it kind of brings together a sort of a new age Eurovision pop if you want yeah. yeah and so uh, there are lots of different meanings uh, I don't know if you noticed but in the, in the nation file first of all there were two undressing moments yes one time the girls undress me and one time the boys and that already means something okay tell us what's it mean it's an inclusive message. Okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Accept okay. all people, love all people. Yes, yes. Uh, that was, a, that was a, a sign language we have got to Okay. Yeah, well, I, we said, uh, which was exactly like this on the show. Yeah, yeah, and first of all, it looks cool. <laughs> and second of all, it has a different meaning because this is freedom, this is equality, this is peace, and this is love. Okay. It's sort of a song. Yeah. But I didn't want it to put it up front because I didn't want people to go like, uh, oh, you can only use that for a tent, you know, to get as many votes as you can. I wanted it to be for who gets to see it, it's all right. And who needs to, who needed to see it, uh, sorry, I didn't want to do that. Do you speak fluent sign language? No, no, I started, uh, I started uh, especially these words so I can make this, uh, this part. And um, I wrote to make love not blow on my chest, which was the most controversial part of it. Um, but I think uh, I, I chose that for uh, some for different reasons. Well, first of all, because the song itself talks about a one love and this tough, toxic love relationship, and uh, how bad is some lies and some not nice behavior can break some, someone else's heart, and how that can be a, a really a disaster. And it can switch uh, someone, someone's world, uh, turn it apart in a few seconds. Um, for the second of all, because of this whole situation that we got right now, uh, to which I just can't be ignorant. I mean, I'm really serious about it, and I've come to my heart really. And I think that make love not what is the best thing to hear or say these days, because of this whole situation. Third of all, because um, I was a victim of bullying in school and second grade. And that period was really rough and uh, it, it changed me a lot and it's not that easy of a subject to talk about really for me but uh, I thought that maybe if I have this small amount of uh, influence uh, that Eurovision gave me in this, uh, this context, maybe I can use it to 
triggered some question marks and maybe make people ask themselves and wonder about this whole thing and probably maybe make the make the, the huge change and uh, get rid of it once in a while. Because uh, it, 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 it really ruined uh, some years of my life and uh, um, it, it was just an awful thing. I think that thousands of kids suffer every day because of this thing. And I, I just thought that, just as Michael Jackson said, be the change you want. Be, be the change you want. Yeah, be the change you want to be. Be the change you want to see in the world. Yeah, exactly. And so I thought that maybe I can use my... Maybe I can use all of my uh, exposure to uh, help this. And the fourth reason was of course that make the doctor is a John and John is a pure is a favorite healing. So yeah. They're not all small puzzle pieces that brought together big this whole uh, episode. Yeah. Our man does not think in sentences, you think in paragraphs, and I love it. <laughs> you just you go. Now I want to ask about your rehearsal. Okay. Translating your idea from Romania to the big stage. You've made some big changes. There's some fire on the screen. You see, I think it's your girlfriend in a white shirt. Is that correct? In the background. Could you tell us about the media? Okay, so the, uh, the moment in the National Fire was completely directed by me. Uh, this one, uh, this one is uh, mostly the nation of the Christian ideas. But I kind of get their meanings in, uh, in some way because um, I just feel like. Uh, as you saw in the music video, I so yes. Uh, then there's this whole thing of being slapped in a love cage. Because I mean, something like this, a necessary evil, keeps you uh, locked in sort of a, um, unfulfilling labyrinth, you know? And so, in the screen, it's just me trying to escape from this fire of love. Right. Yeah, and so uh, there is the. And it's sort of a, like a. Like a like I'm trapped in a cage, but she then is dressed like uh, in this huge shirt, like 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 she's crazy, and she's driving me crazy. That's why I'm white too. And her moves are exactly the moves that the blue dog did in the nation final. And so it's the it's synchronized girl. And then um, then it all cuts and brings this thing together into uh, the motif of the music video and the big hand that I picked around. Mm -hmm. With the black paint, but you will see uh, you will see more on stage because this is just a, a small part. Yeah. That's an incredible look. And I gotta ask you, going into select your nationality, there were some other people who were maybe more famous. But you were the high school student, the underdog, and then you won. Yeah. Did you expect to win? And what was your reaction when you did win? Well, actually, somehow yes, and somehow not, because um, being the director of, the, of this whole moment. This theater in Orlando, Romania. Um, I had everything put down in the time code, like in seconds, of what should happen in every second of the, of, the, of the whole performance. And so, knowing that we rehearsed that thousands of times, I knew exactly what was happening in my back. So I, I had this boost of confidence, knowing that everything is going my uh, my way. Um, and so, something made me think that oh, this is cool. I like it. Maybe we can do this. Uh, and then there was this part of <laughs> and so um, somehow I expected it and somehow not. But uh, I just think that the great song can be a part in for the for the happy consumers for the crowd. And I think that as Eurovision said some years ago, that music connects people. And I think that people understand music in the exact same way that music understands them. Final question for you. What do you want people to remember about Theodore Andre when he leaves the stage in this event? Um, I want people to remember that um, rock and roll has no age, rock and roll has no limits, and it's just uh, some the culture really similar to love. Because love has no age and no limits. And uh, so it's a question. And I think love can be an end. It's love. 
for your love, for your family, for your friends, you know. And uh, love for music, you know. It's, you know, vision is not really just a competition. I, I see it more as a music holiday or as a anniversary of musical projects. Because we all met together in this place. And um, I don't know if you saw this, but I, I, I have a series on my YouTube channel in which I make it lays out all of the things that we saw. Oh, it was very impressive. Yeah, and uh, it was really challenging learning uh, new languages on the way. But uh, it was really fun at the same time. And I think that uh, it changed us uh, to not being uh, really competitive. Mm. Being like, oh, we should fight or something like that, turned it into something like a group for a family thing, which is really, really more relaxing and fun. And I think that people should, um, I think people should remember uh, love is, uh, love is exactly what you think of as love, actually. What you feel is love is the, is the correct way of seeing And, um, I think people should post for you, risks, for love, free love, and for uh, this whole um, rock and roll thing, your vision. And that's why I think people should post for the second semi final in the game, but I think authentic and this show is going to be explosive and emotional. Thank you for that beautiful soliloquy. You know how to speak, you know how to talk, and you know how to sing. Theodore Andre, Roll Mania, before you go, a gift for you. This is from us in Rush. Thank you for visiting us here at Lush the Brooklyn Spot. Wow, that's so good. And you know, there's some stop animal cruelty socks. There's some stuff in your hair. You got this hair. And there's some fragrant bath bombs to make oh, your bath sizzle and pop. Thank wow, you. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. And I have a short message for the remaining people watching us, uh, watching us today. Uh, so, we must be this to put this in the app. Eu iubesc pe toți și sunt conștient că am, am, am făcut uh, și lucruri bune, am făcut și probabil greșeli uh, de-a unui timpului în de când am fost în place până acum. Uh, și îmi doresc din suflet să fac de fapt acest legacy pe care l-am făcut în clipa în final națională și l-am văzut de clipa cu să duci unde pariera uh, televizorului să nu știu de când am văzut o fapt în care să se uită la mine în seara semifinalei uh, și să ducem mai departe miile de voci care se cânte din sală sau din spatele televizorilor în limba lor. Uh, Asta este pe aici. Mulțumesc de subvet, vă pe toți și cam asta, cam asta ar fi. And so, um, uh, we want to be the best, uh, best impression that the Romanian has ever made to Eurovision. Um, I love you all, thank you for all of your support. It's, uh, I'm extremely thankful and grateful for all of this uh, that has happened to me. And uh, we're looking forward to passing the, the border of the TV screen and going straight to uh, the, the people watching us more. And uh, make them sing uh, the main rock and roll in the semifinal. And so, long live rock and roll, love for you. Thank you all so, so much. And keep it. Oh, I'm also best. Merci.